robots fight. But meanwhile, let's get back to this fight. Colossal Avian taking on Mr. Roper. Colossal Avian has been launching beautiful overhead attacks all day. Mr. Roper has also been launching overhead attacks. I wouldn't call them beautiful so much as I would call them somewhat frantic and grumpy. <laughs> frantic and grumpy is apt. You can see him taking his frustration out on the floor. <laughs> Come at me. Stop running away. Get over here and let me pound you. He's coming at it with a bunch of speed squares oh. as the uh, as the armor plates on the side. This is a standard toolbox. It's not made out of a... Oh! oh. Colossal Avian crushes the multibot of Mr. Roper, using it to pummel Mr. Roper with yeah, their own multibot. mass to their hammer, if you will. <laughs> Impressive. Colossal Avian here seems to be having drive issues. Seems like they came out of the gate with drive issues, so unable to take advantage of Mr. Roper, as maybe some might expect. And Mr. Roper not really taking advantage of themselves. They, they don't seem to be driving straight in yeah, any way. It, they just seem to be kind of pirouetting. Nice. Oh, taking oh, out an eye. eye. Oh, no. And so then you can see Colossal Avian trying to get that weapon back up to speed before they launch another attack in. They're able to get the angles here, shoving Mr. Roper into the corner. He's on the ropes. But he's taking the hits. I'm afraid his depth perception might be uh, affected by that <laughs> damage there. You know, just after the first Rocky movie, Rocky had no depth perception. You don't need it to win fights. Okay. <laughs> in <laughs> mythical Philadelphia. Yeah, just keep swinging. It seems here now Colossal Avian has gotten their drive mobility back. They seem to be driving okay. You don't usually see that, uh, the drive getting better as the fight goes on, but uh, we'll see if they can get the weapon going and get a few more hits in here. And you can see <laughs> Mr. Roper very upset at missing an eye. Very understandable. But taking it out on the floor, take it out on your opponent, Mr. Roper. Take it out on your opponent. <laughs> Mr. Rover is not happy about how this fight is going. You can just see it on his face. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to have lost uh, power to his right arm. Only the left arm is, is pounding at this point. It does seem like this is going to make it to the judges. Yeah, absolutely. And this is how Mr. Roper has gotten through the whole day, honestly. Just durability and uh, surprising amounts of durability, considering what the bot is made out of. Surprising amounts of durability for a toolbox um, and surprising amounts of aggression. Yeah, I mean, so much aggression. Yeah. This All day. This particular fight, I don't think Mr. Roper was able to show enough aggression here to overcome but closer than I think we might have thought coming into this one. He got some hits. Yeah. He really did. He did. I mean, for a while there, you know, Avian was on the, uh, spinning around in circles. So, <laughs> great performance. We just got news from the desk. Colossal Avian was your winner in that last matchup, so very sad for Mr. Roper. A solid run for Mr. Roper. Yeah, really solid run. So congratulations to Colossal Avian, winning by judge's decision. Congratulations to Mr. Roper for going the full three minutes against such a hard hitter.